the the mayhem devils i mean this is what he wanted to see so um should be should be very happy to see some uh forests and plains from the opposing side okay looks like we're gonna get to come in here in game number one as well so let's settle in for one more run of historic here before we uh transfer back over to to standard for the rest of the day if you're just joining us we're really happy that you have cho have chosen to do so. We're watching Historic, then Standard, and tomorrow we'll do the same, and then Sunday is going to be all Historic. Top 8 is uh, going to be decided by decks like these. There's a Ravenous Squirrel to kick things off for Stan. Thalia's Lieutenant, all by itself. Can still get big, but, uh, you know, that's kind of the one you want to put after you've played a creature or two. Yeah, it can, but, I mean, just look at all these really annoying, problematic creatures that Sifka has in his deck right you got priest of forgotten gods the ravenous squirrel just continues to grow and you know when you're playing a deck like the humans decks i mean not a whole lot of interaction right you just have access to a handful of brutal cathars in the main to be able to deal with some of these creatures and a lot of the times many of these creatures are all must kills mm -hmm. there's priest of forgotten gods that is a very scary one if you're keisuke because that's the type of card that can generate a heck of a lot of value for Stan. There's Ranger Captain of Eos, though. This has been a standout so far today. Really just sort of brings the whole package, right? Like, it's a 3-3. It gets you another creature. It can get you specific creatures that are good in specific scenarios that you have, like, one-ofs in the deck. And then on top of it, it has this activated ability that, against some decks, is devastating. Not here yeah. so much, but against some decks, it just shuts them down. Yeah, I mean, there are instances where you're playing against a combo deck and you have enough pressure and you just can't let them cast their combo. Th that's a useful ability. Additionally, let's say you have enough pressure and your opponents, you're playing against a control deck and you're afraid that they might have a sweeper. Again, you have basically that creature that you know not only provides a clock, but also can just, on those pivotal turns, prevent your opponents from casting those non-creature spells. All right, two creatures hit the battlefield this turn, which means Priests of Forgotten Gods can sacrifice two creatures that just hit and uh, take out something on the other side of the battlefield and generate value. Plus, trigger, look trigger, at all trigger, the squirrel trigger. triggers. <laughs> only only a couple of them will uh, will count here. But still, that ravenous squirrel is going to get out of hand very quickly. And Sato already has a decision on what he wants to sacrifice uh, yeah. pretty early in the game here. Yeah, uh, I would guess it's going to be the ranger captain as you know you play any human next turn and all of a sudden your Thully's lieutenant is just as big. Mm -hmm. And this Jund company deck really doesn't have a whole lot of creature, uh, excuse me, non-creature spells. So the sacrifice effect isn't all that relevant. Yeah, the one thing to keep in mind would be Played if it. Sato thinks that he may be getting beaten down here. <laughs> like, yeah. I don't know if he can win if he starts trading off with Ravenous Squirrels, but... Uh, right. Wow, and look at that, a priest off of the mana, and there's the three damage coming in. And... You know, this is going to be a game decided by those two collected companies in hand here, Paul. Like, if Sato's going to win, he's going to have to, A, find the land to cast those, and he's going to have to hit really nicely off of them because Stan Sifka's done a great job so far. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> actually, I mean, th this was probably the turn he needed the land, um, uh, in all honesty. Given that he didn't find it this turn, I mean, this squirrel is just going to continue to grow. Uh, and remember, Sifka, he's got that Scrap Heap Scrounger in the graveyard, which he can put back into the graveyard by sacrifice, by removing the squirrel in his graveyard. And then that's another trigger here, uh, Priest of Forgotten Gods. Mm -hmm. Not only that, he's got, of course, Mayhem Devil in play, which is going to cause all kinds of additional headaches here for Keisuke. Yeah, he will have a Mayhem Devil, and boy, oh boy, that's going to be tough. Paul's Lieutenant, nice, 4-4. Four, four. But as you said, the uh, the fact that he can't deploy the, the Collected Company this turn means that even though he did get to cast two spells, there just aren't the type of spells that are going to get him back in this. And he's still kind of at the mercy of the top of his library to find him a land to cast a Collected Company next turn. Yeah. Really curious how Stan's going to sequence this. Um, you can choose to play out the Mayhem Devil. But then you, you don't really have creatures you want to sacrifice to Priest of Forgotten Gods, right? In order to get the activation, you're going to have to sack, what, a, a squirrel and a priest? Um, which 
doesn't feel great throwing away a 3-3 creature. The, the other option would be to remove return Scrapkeep Scrounger and sack your Priest plus Scrapkeep Scrounger, right? And then just that, run out the Mayhem honest. Devil. And then you can just Mayhem Devil. It, it's right. a little awkward with the sequencing because you'd prefer to have the Devil out when you do this, but yeah, yeah, can't have it all. But, you know, uh, this way you get to keep the Squirrel. It's going to be a 5-5 five five this turn. Yep. And, you know, Sifka sitting at 16 life doesn't have to worry about just getting slammed on here. So, yeah, he's got time to even make, you know, kind of an awkward sequencing play. Ooh, Witch's Oven, too. He can cast that this turn as well, can't he? He can. So, although it's kind of unfortunate because there's that Esper Sentinel in play, you don't really want your opponent to draw cards off Esper Sentinel, True. especially because you know that KSK missed land number four. So... There could be a pretty solid chance that he has company in hand and you don't want him to get free draws at a land. So he could pay and then just bring back the scrap heap scrounger, I suppose. But man, having a mayhem devil out feels so much stronger. Yeah, I think I like paying returning scrounger and then just playing the mayhem devil next turn. Okay. Yeah. That's what he's gonna go for. Get in with the squirrely. Blocks. Wow. Oh, he's at 12. He is. <laughs> Remember, those Priest of Forgotten Gods also do uh, two, get in yeah. for two every time you, you activate. And there's the untapped land into Collected Company. This is really big for Sato. He needs to find really two great hits here to get himself back in this game. Some Brutal Cathars would be great. Oh, wow. He did hit a Brutal Cathar and a Skyclave and an Apparition. apparition. Wow, that's what he needed to see. Two cards that get him back into this game right now. What incredible hits here for Jeez. Sato. Boy, hitting a Ravenous Squirrel is really nice, too. He gets a 5-5 five five off the board with the Apparition, and the worst case is he gets a 1-1 one one back? Yeah, and it looks like Stan is just choosing to sacrifice the Squirrel because it does have more than four power, so he's going to get two food out of that exchange. And now the Thalia's Lieutenant is beating down. Oh! Oh, but there's Claim <laughs> the Firstborn off the top for Stan. Jeez, okay. So, I mean, a couple of options here for, for Stan. Actually, I mean, you probably just go ahead and... Uh, just get the Brutal Cathar out of here. You, well, you can also play Mayhem Devil... Can you? So I'm wondering if you can play Mayhem Devil, play Claim the Firstborn, steal and kill the Cathar. I don't know that you can. Oh, kill the Car Cathar with Mayhem Devil triggers? I see what you're saying. Right. But he does have yeah, a Phyrexian. He, he's, he's a mana short, right? Oh, well, he he's got tower? Phyrexian Tower, so he can sack two things. He just needs red mana there, and then, yeah, that yeah. works. He can still sack a food and get an additional trigger off the Devil. Right, because because you're just going to sack the Scrounger, right? So you right. just go claim the Firstborn Thalia's Lieutenant, beat down, sack the Scrounger, and sack the Thalia's Lieutenant to kill off the Brutal Cathar to get back your Priest of Forgotten Gods. And your opponent has went from nine power to having two? To having two, and you get your Priest of Forgotten Gods back. And by the way, you get to smash here, right? Eight damage. Right, of course. And so, I mean, and... and if he doesn't block, this is just lethal too, right? Because you take eight, yeah. and then two things get sacrificed. That's right. So he so, actually so, has so, so correction, no board, no permanence. <laughs> correction, no permanence. Wow, what a swing! This is the second time that we've seen claim the firstborn be uh, pay red, kill all your creatures, and it was like three or four each time too. What a swing! Man, it looked like Sato might be back. I mean, he attacked last turn. Like, he was looking yeah. okay. Now he's just in dire straits. Terrible situation. Yeah, so now he can sack both the Lieutenant and the Scrounger. I'm not... I, does he have another creature in his graveyard, Sifka? Because if he does, he can also return the Scrounger back to the battlefield. I don't think he does, but he may. Maybe he has an extra squirrel in there. 
Oh, I see. He you got can exiled. Just do that too, of course. At least one of them did. You, you can just sack a food. Mm -hmm. And now you're at 12 life too. So, wow, this uh the second collected company from Sato has to be really good. What a draw. Unbelievable. Yeah, I mean, Sato basically needs to hit that same company that he hit just to get back into this thing. Let's see if he can do it again. It worked last time. Collected company goes on the stack and... Nope. Pair of Thraben Inspector. Boy, oh boy. What a swing for Stanislav yeah. Sivka as he picks up game number one off of a very timely claim the firstborn. Now this is going to be a really interesting game until that card came out, right? Like case case back in it, but stands certainly not out of it. And then it was like, never mind, <laughs> kill all your stuff for three. Yeah. Wow. And and I mean, you, right. I mean, look at the three copies of Noxious Grasp in the sideboard too. So things just continuing to get uh, potentially even better here for Sifka. Um, really, really important that he has access to that removal spell. Remember, he's only got claim the firstborn. He doesn't have fatal push, so he doesn't have a lot of great ways to deal with a potential Yasharn, which completely shuts down basically everything that this deck's trying to do. So with those noxious grasps, you're gonna see him really hold on to those and try to save it for as long as possible to deal with potential opposing Yasharns. And if you look at KSK's list, he's got three copies of that in his sideboard. Wow, that's about as many as you can fit in. I mean, technically you can play four, but that's a lot of precious slots. Yep. And uh, that means that KSK knows this is a tough matchup <clears throat> and he really wanted to have answers for it. Oof. Well, how's this opener look? Uh, it's three, got removal. Three, 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 four. Yeah, yeah. I sh Stan just, just wants lands, right? If you can just draw two lands in a row, he's looking really good. Well, Sato has all three drops and a four. <laughs> okay. Usually his deck's two. doing stuff. He also oh, needs two lands nice in a row. One. Yeah. Luminarch Aspirant's a nice start, Oh, though. okay. He's well, two, two. Stan's got kind of the ideal draw here, right? You got Noxious Grasp into three drop into double company. Well, that's the question. It, so is he forced to use Noxious Grasp on the Aspirant here? You were saying he was going to try to conserve right? him at all costs, but like that's a Luminarch Aspirant. That thing gets completely out of hand. Yeah, so conserve it at all costs in the sense that if you have other things to do other than cast Noxious Grasp, you mm -hmm. want to do that. But given that he doesn't have a thing to do, he probably needs to fire off the removal spell. Wow, huge sigh of relief there for Sato who, Sato, who finds that third land off the top of the library. And boy, oh boy, did he need it. Yeah, that no, that was big. He's going to need another, but now, I mean, land number three was the most important thing, right? Because... At least, even if he find, doesn't find land number four, he still gets a cast things from his hand here. That's right. He, he goes and gets a Thraben Inspector, perhaps a nod to him digging deeper into his library. Mayhem Devil is going to hit the battlefield now for Sifka. And let's see. Oh, another land oh. off the top. So he really kind of got there. He's just going to go for Apparition, though, which is going to permanently deal with this Devil. And, you know, Stan doesn't even get to put it in his yard. Like, he has no sack outlet there. So it's right. gone. And the captain's yeah. going to come in as well. So good start here for KSK. He needed those lands, but he hit them. Yeah, yeah. But both players needed to hit kind of the back-to-back -back lands as they both started with two two in their opener. Uh, and now it's really just going to come down to what we can find here off the collected companies. Yeah. And, you know, between their two players, there's three copies of collected company in the result of those spells is going to have a major impact <laughs> on the on the winner of this particular game. Oh, okay. Probably still just want a company, but he did find a, another Luminarch Aspirant off the top. Yeah, with the way that his man is currently set up, he can only play one creature, and Collect Company gives you like a 90% shot at hitting two creatures, so you definitely want to go for that instead. And I, I the Ranger Captain getting in here. He's gonna. Yeah. He's aware of Collected Company as yeah. well. Yeah, <laughs> he's uh, sniffing out the Collected Company, and if Stan hits another mayhem devil you don't want to just be giving a, a free block there with a mayhem devil and he right and he devil. did look at the hits here mayhem devil woe strider gilded goose priest of forgotten gods the devil is kind of the you know, you always take that and then it's what it, what else do you want in this case it's going to be a woe strider in case it does not want an untap here wants to try to find another apparition here to deal with this mayhem devil yeah 
He's got one in the main, two in the board, so he's got access to three of them, Ooh, but he doesn't he hit one here. He did hit a Spellbinder. That can slow down a company or a Corvold or something, but, you know, Spellbinder's not going to be around for long with the Mayhem Devil out. Yeah, and and you have to imagine he's going to go for the company here, as that's the thing that he can cast. And if Stan chooses to go for Corvold, you do have the Brutal Cathar, although I guess with Mayhem Devil... It's probably not going to be long for this world. Hmm. Yeah, it looks like Sato's game plan post-board is, is powerful, but a bit of a house of cards, right? Like, you can find yourself with Skyclave Apparitions and Brutal Cathars, but if they start dying, then it all kind of collapses. Right. Oh, okay, he went for Corvold. Wow, yeah, I'm just going to let him fire off a company here? Yeah, so he can cast the Corvold with the tower right. that he has, but he would have to sacrifice a creature to do so. Oh, boy. Jeez. So now four total collected companies between our two players. The stand finds another one off the library. He's got one in his hand. Actually, five companies, right? Yeah, I wonder if you want to just fire off the company now so your opponent can't fire off their company in response and break apart some of the triggers that you might be looking for. You know, let's say you hit, you cast company and you hit double Mayhem Devil. Um, that'll allow you to get so many more triggers if KSK doesn't kill totally. your low strider in response. Yeah, totally. I, it, that makes a lot of sense. Still can cast Collective Company. Right, and he may just... He may just want to sacrifice the goat to the tower anyway. That gets a creature off the battlefield in the Spellbinder. Yep. And indications are that he is going to cast Collected Company. So here he goes. <laughs> it doesn't actually matter, Stan, but right. I do appreciate it. Oh, jeez. Man, so he's hit Woe Strider Mayhem Devil off of back-to-back -back company. How do you beat this? Uh, I you're mean, not beating that. Now every creature that gets sacrificed is two damage. You are not beating that. Sato, I don't think, you know, you, you need a gross. much different type of game plan out of the board from Sato, you know, where you, I don't know, you're transitioning to some sweeper deck. You know, it's just stuff that this deck can't do. Right. It's just you, your deck is creatures. I mean, that's it, right? Like yeah. your removal spells are creatures. <laughs> yeah. And they are going to die, all of them. Yeah, and, and, and that is, you know, the upside of playing all these creatures that come into play and kill creatures is that you can hit them with company. The downside is, well, you can kill those creatures, right? Yep, totally. And with Mayhem Devil, it's a repeated source of removal, and that is just too much to handle here as Keisuke Sato finds himself way behind Stanislav Sifka at this point. Oh, God, another claim the firstborn. Sure, I'll keep that one, he says. That's that, that's basically a, like a one-mana Wrath of God. Right? It is, it's and just... it's for them, right? Like, <laughs> yeah, your yeah. creatures Sorry. look just fine. One-mana Plague Wind. We'll Plague go with Wind, that there we go. Although he did waste a scry here, right? You know. Yeah, that's, that's, that's never a loss that of value, value for back. sure. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> poor, poor Stan. <laughs> As he's going to jam for six here. Keisuke Sato falls down to 12 life, but okay, okay he did I mean, find another company. That was the best possible. You know, if he hits the, I, I don't think uh, there's anything. to the first one. I guess if you can kill both the Mayhem Devils or something. Yeah, like double apparition here. Double apparition, because you don't want it to be Cathar, right? No, Cathar... you don't. Oh, oh he <laughs> did hit Cathar apparition. <laughs> he... So he actually gets to take out, well, one devil. I mean, yeah, so so that that was, you know, the absolute best possible thing that Case Kick could hit. I don't think it's enough still, uh, sadly enough, because next turn, Stan can still go claim the Firstborn, sat, attack, sack the creature to tower, and then cast company. Yeah. He's actually just going to let the apparition happen. The, time, the trigger stacking gets a little awkward for, from Stan's perspective, as he's just going to let this happen, but he knows that those creatures are safe. He'll get a devil back in a 3-3 at some point. 
Yeah, he's like got a st- right now, for example. Yeah, yeah, just <laughs> just st- as an steal example. the Cathar, steal the Cathar. Maybe even attack with everything. Looks like okay, he wants to wants go to... for a company here. Yeah, just decimate the board company. Here okay. we go, another collected company. This is the. Oh, Six, one. oh, but he what? missed. It was literally all land. What? Wait, wait. So wait a second. <laughs> so now we're down to one mayhem devil. Okay. <laughs> wow. Oh Jeez. man, are really that just <laughs> happened? Oh my goodness. I mean, KSK has cards in hand, and we're out. We're just down to the one devil now. So it's it's not too bad. Yeah, he also has the Aspirant, which can grow his team and get them out of at least single devil range. Oh, is that a Sky Sovereign? It is. The <laughs> okay. console flagship has arrived. Hey, Sifka's you know what? looking at the bottom of his library. Sifka's deck has literally no ways to kill that card, right? Yeah, you're looking at Noxious Grasp and Claim the Firstborn as the pieces of removal. Right, so. he, he needs double Mayhem Devil with the whole... He needs what he had. Right. So he wants to hit a this land is, here. This is awkward. Thing. Sato's cracking his clue token that he got from that uh, inspector a while ago, but it is going to spot Stan a yeah. trigger. So now Stan gets another 3-3 three, three this turn. And keep in mind, Sato's at 12. And we have a Cauldron Familiar. Oh, no, that's in hand. Excuse me. Excuse me. Right, so is Stan going to have to sacrifice something here to get another trigger from his devil, or does he... Well, well, so he... Because he, he let the Luminarch Aspirant resolve. Right, he just doesn't have anything easy to sack. Like, he could... He could sack, sack a, a Strider. Strider to it, the other one, but... Yeah, he's giving up some, you know, fairly serious board presence. At the, and the Luminarch Aspirant picked up the counter. And now, yeah, he's going to sack a Wostride to get the Apparition off the battlefield here. Mm -hmm. Get a 3-3, get the Scry. He's pretty far away from casting that Corvold still. Right, it's going to cost him 7. Um, he probably has enough to escape the Wostrider, though, so I think he might want the land. Yeah, because that gets you one step closer to Corvold and allows you to um, escape the Wostrider. And I can't imagine there's too many cards better than just playing a 5-4 out of your graveyard with an extra token with the Woe and the Mayhem Devil in play. Yeah, that that seems to be, outside of Corvold, you know, a top end. Yeah, or maybe a Claim the Firstborn or a Company. I mean, there are better cards, but right. at the same time... It's going to be hard to turn down that deal, and he doesn't. He's going to leave the land on top of the battlefield so he can get that Woe Strider back onto the battlefield via Escape. You know, Marshall, the, the sequence of things that had to happen for us to still be here and playing, it's pretty incredible, right? It is insanity. It, it, it looked like it was just straight up over. There were two Mayhem Devils with two Woe Striders in play. Sato top decks company, hits two exile creature effects. Sifka plays company, completely whips. Like, literally all lands, too, which was weird. Like, yeah. It's just... It is incredible. Yeah, whoever's running the advantage bar certainly thought this thing was over, but now maybe they've crept it back a little bit. Not quite so confident. All right, Woe Strider's going to get blocked, but the 3-3 token does crack in, and down to 9 goes Sato. He's kind of clinging to that Aspirant, but as you mentioned, Sky Sovereign is one mana away there for Sato, and that could come down and start squishing these creatures. Particularly yeah, and, the Mayhem Devil. <laughs> right, and I think, do you just let Luminar Gasprint do its thing here? Because in order to kill it, you would have to sack your 3-3 and your 0-1. That's right. a land. Well, we're going to find out what Sifka thinks because that Sky Sovereign's going to go on the stack and kind of make it so that, hey, you get one more attempt at this Devil. What do you want to so, do? Do you want to so keep it board or do you want to kill the Aspirant? If you're Sato, you want to get the Luminar Gasprint trigger first before you cast the Sky Sovereign. Right to, for, you, to force that issue to for to, to yeah to force that issue because if that happens then you get to basically kill something else for free with the sky sovereign so 
I think you don't want to play the Sky Sovereign until your second main phase to see if you're going to get a counter here with that Luminar Gasprit. I see, if because if Stan decides to give away the 3-3 three, three or the 5-4 or whatever, then you kill the Devil and all of a sudden he has almost no board left. Exactly. Okay, this is the question, and it resolves. So Luminarch Aspirin is going to be on the battlefield, and this is the worst case here for Stan, right? Because now Sato just has all of it. Yeah, great sequencing here from Keisuke. Really Waiting cool. So you get the counter on first before running out this guy's sovereign. Now it's going to come down and fall I mean, on the Mayhem Devil, and all of a sudden, <laughs> Keisuke Sato's ahead. <laughs> Like, he might win. I mean, He's probably going to win, right? Like, Well, because, like, there's no more Mayhem Devils, right? Even if Stan draws a land for Korvold, Keisuke has Brutal Cathar. And, and Stan, as it stands, doesn't have a way to get Brutal Cathar off the battlefield. That's right. Is Keisuke going to win this? Well, a Vantage Bar person thinks so. Okay, it looks like we're going to see some action here from Stan. We need to wow, this get is some... sad. He wants to scry, right? Like, yeah, yeah, killing an inspector is fine, but... He also is probably just looking at an attack, right? Right. He oh, if he finds a claim the firstborn, that's a lethal attack. Oh, oh! to claim the firstborn yes! sitting on top of the <laughs> library. And that unlocks yeah. victory for Stanislav Sivka, does it not? Uh, wait, what's the crew cost on Sky Sovereign? Uh, it's been so long. If, if it's it three, three, then it's not lethal. If it's three, it's, uh, it's, it's not lethal. Okay, okay. I think it is three, <laughs> actually. My, my, my heartstrings, Marshall. I can't handle this. Okay, 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 okay. Uh, Stan has one job here. He's going for it. Right, but keep in mind now, uh, does the Sky Sovereign have to chump? Yeah, the Sky Sovereign has to chump the Woe Strider, because if you don't, you take eight, and then you cast Cauldron Familiar for the win. Right, and and Sato knows about it. So, to, so right. the Sovereign actually has to trade off for Woe Strider here? It does. Oh, that's rough. Oh, claim the Firstborn. Claim has been completely absurd every time we've seen it. The times when it's not going to be absurd, it's going to be like horrendously bad but when it's good it's so good oh and and you get a counter here with the aspirin that's, oh, that's not going to change that's not going to change the i mean that's not going to change the clock necessarily it is one extra point of damage but case is is forced here to block the woe strider or he will he will be dead yep and he knows too again the cauldron familiar is a known known card to sato so he knows that he doesn't have a choice yeah you'd much rather Block the 4-4, go to 1, but you can't do it. Oh, excuse me. No, this is actually just game, Marshall. You cast Familiar, sack it to the tower, return the Familiar with that food that you have in play. So that actual counter was very relevant. Wow, you're right, Paul. Incredible. The Familiar is actually worth 2 damage here. What wow. a game. Wow, what a game for Stanislav Sivka. It looked like he had it locked up. Then it looked like he was going to straight up lose... And Acclaim the Firstborn changed all of that. Jeez. Unbelievable. Stan Sivka picks up a win, and uh, he's going to take that Jun Company to, I think, a 2-1 here. So pretty good. Pretty good. Yeah, as not he transitions bad. Over.